the new law changes several things for tenants. One of the more controversial measures is surrounding lease transfers. Now, landlords can block a lease transfer for any reason, and if a tenant requests one, they could cancel the lease. Before, they could only object a lease transfer if they had a valid reason and they had to prove it. This is one of the only tools that tenants have to be able to keep rent at a reasonable um, amount, especially given that there is no rental registry. Since it was presented by Quebec Housing Minister France-Hélène Duranceau in June 2023, Bill 31 was sold as a way to balance the housing market for tenants and landlords. And she says there are measures to protect tenants. The idea principal of this project of law was to act against the evictions, to better protect the people who are vulnerable. For example, if a tenant doesn't respond to an eviction notice, it will be automatically understood as a refusal, and their landlord will have to take them to the housing tribunal to plead their case. Before, if the tenant didn't respond, it was automatically assumed that they had accepted the eviction. The law also forces landlords to compensate tenants for an eviction between three to 24 months worth of rent, depending on how long they've been there. For buildings built within the last five years, landlords will no longer be able to increase the rent arbitrarily. Instead, they'll have to set out the maximum amount they'll ask for in advance. Tenants will also be allowed to seek compensation if their landlord does not inform them of the previous rent. But this housing advocate says no tenant will take their new landlord to court. He says this measure, along with almost all the others in this new law, do nothing to help tenants. This will lead to much higher rents, and much higher rents means more speculation. More speculation means more evictions. This new law also changes several aspects of housing law for companies and municipalities, but their impacts will be more obvious in the long term.